In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make these text animations in Roblox Studio. Uh, there are three kinds, so let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to make this work is we actually need the text. So in Starter GUI, I'm going to insert a Screen GUI, and I'm just going to call it Text Animations. And then we need to make our text. So in here, I'm going to make a text label. Um, and then I'm going to make it look cartoony to make it look better. I have made a video on how to scale your GUI, but you can also follow here. I'm going to set the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then set background transparency to 1. Go down. I'm going to set the font to Ferdoco 1. Make the text color to white and scale it up. Um, I'm going to scale it up as much as I can and then change these bound boxes so that it doesn't look weird on other devices. All right, and then I'm just going to put a stroke in here, set the line join mode to miter, and just scale it up so it looks uh, good. So I'm going to set that to 7. We have our first label, and this is going to, I'm going to call this our basic label. And if you guys remember, our basic one was on the side here. Uh, that's one out of the three. I'm going to call it basic. I'm going to make sure it looks good on all the devices. Oh, I forgot to scale it. There's a plug-in. Offset to scale, go back, and it looks good. I'm pr probably just scale that stroke down to maybe something like five, and then it looks good on all devices. Then we need to make our other two. So I'm going to duplicate basic. I'm going to put this one in the middle somewhere right here. This is going to be our jumpy animation. Uh, so I'm just going to call it jumpy, and text will be jumpy. Now in this one, we need to insert a UI scale. So when you go to the plus and you need to add a UI scale, it looks like this. And then we need one more uh, text label. It's going to be over here, and this is going to be our fade. Our fade, and all we're doing is changing names and setting text. So we have our three labels. So we are going to begin with our basic label. Insert a local script in our basic label, and this is where we can make all the animations work, okay? So we are going to start off by getting tween service. We then need to get info, our tween info for this. So tween info dot new 0.3, enum dot using style dot linear, enum dot using direction dot out zero false zero. Very simple. It's just setting so that the tween will be 0 0.3 seconds. Uh, just basic tweeting, no, no repeating, no nothing, doesn't reverse or anything like that. We then need to get our text. So text will be go to script dot parent. And then we need our UI stroke in the text. So UI stroke, when we go to text, wait for child, UI stroke. Just to make it so we can see the animation, we are going to wait uh, like two seconds. And then we can start getting into the actual animations. So tween service, we can use it to make our animations. Uh, the, the, tween, the object we want to tween will be our tech label. You're sending in our tween info, and then in squarely brackets, we need to put in what we actually want to change about the text label. And the text for this one, I want to set the text transparency property. I'm going to set that to zero, and then play it, and duplicate it, put in UI stroke, and just set the transparency to zero. The reason why we are setting this to zero is because we are going to be setting these text labels transparency to one so that it fades in and also fades out. So real quick, I'm just going to make it so that all of these, um, or th these are all transparent and make sure to set the UI stroke uh, to. So back here, we're going to wait three seconds and then duplicate these lines, put them down here, and set it to 1, so then they would not be visible anymore. Go into your guys' game, and over here, there's our basic, just our regular um, animation, and then it goes back out. If you guys want to change the speed of this and how long it appears, you can do that by changing this text label here. This is the amount of seconds that it lo uh Will appear on the screen for so you can change that and also in the info you can change this number to change the amount of speed as well so next we're going to be making our jumpy animations so copy this text uh 
script I mean and put it into jumpy and we have this and we can just change a few values around to make it like how we want it so first of all what I'm going to do here is just change this uh, text or wait wait a minute actually guys I'm gonna leave it at 0 0.3 and then I'm gonna set linear to back and everything else should be fine I'm gonna create another uh, tween info so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call this like tween info 2 or something uh, so tween info 2 I'm gonna set this to 0 0.15 uh, and set this back to linear and I think everything else should be fine all right so we need to add on to this and we need to get the scale that is in the jumpy uh, text label so text uh, wait for child UI scale and then we got the UI scale we're pretty much almost doing the same exact thing except changing uh, the UI scale property so duplicate this tween service line put it down here and we put in our UI scale oh I, I just call the scale okay then just scale and then for uh, this the scale is just scale like the what we can change in the UI scale is the property is called scale I'm just gonna change this to UI scale just so it makes more sense okay so change this to UI scale and I am want to set the scale to 1 and by the way, when you insert the scale, change the scale property to 1.3. All right. And then down here, I'm just going to duplicate all these lines, put it here. And then our info 2 will go into these bottom tweens. All right. So these, these are all info 2s, the second one. And then we are setting this to 1, 1, and 1.3. Or this value can change depending on what you um, change this scale to in the UI scale. If you guys don't know what UI scale is, basically it makes it so that you can like easily scale the object. So this is set to 0 0.3 and what's going to happen is we're going to set this back to 1. And as you can see, it makes it smaller. Uh, it makes it smaller when you know when it's one but when it's 1.3 it's bigger so we can change that I'm just gonna leave it at 0 0.3 so now heading into your guys's game we will have two animations playing as we can see here and then we need to create our last one which is the fade that I called fade and this one's just a little bit more advanced but we're gonna put again copy this local script into our fade open it up and we can start changing some things so to start off we're going to get rid of this info too and we're going to change some things in this info. So we're going to change this a value to 0 0.1. Change this back to linear. That's all we need to change for that one. And then we can get rid of the UI scale here. And I'm going to create two more things. So we'll, we'll change in Y. We'll go to 0 0.05. And then text.position will be equal to text.position minus udem2.new. 0 comma 0 comma change in y comma 0 and then we can start creating the tween stuff so we're going to leave all this the exact same except I already have my UI skill here so I'm just going to change this to text and then position and the position will be equal to text dot position or but we're going to add udem 2 dot new 0 0 change in y zero now that's making it so it goes down and it has that little fade like the, the position changes put that back down here and also we need to change this info so it's not info too oh, whoops I guess I'll zoom out so this is all info and then we need to uh, then we need to set or okay so we need to subtract this and I think that's pretty much all we need to do. All right, so head into your guys' game, and then we should have all three of our animations working. Uh, they're all kind of similar, but still different. They they're still they still have a little bit of an uh, of a uniqueness to them, something a little bit different, you know. Um, but it looks good. There are animations, and there you guys go.
And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.